Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, I'll be showing you how to customize the machine hardware controller using the Native Instruments Controller Editor software. By default, the machine hardware controller is programmed to send HID commands that can only work with the machine software running as either a standalone application or as a VST inside your preferred DAW. If you want to use machine with a program like Tractor Pro 2, you need to put it into MIDI mode so that a MIDI compatible program can send and receive messages that it understands. Using the controller editor application, you can customize what MIDI commands are assigned each button and knob on the controller. You can also rename some of the controls that appear on the controller's LCD screens. To create a new template, you want to first make sure that you are on the templates tab. Then you're going to want to go down to the edit menu and select new. This will create a brand new template that you can customize. You'll notice that the user interface is divided into two different sections. The left portion shows you the machine controller with all of its buttons, knobs, and labels. The right side will allow you to customize all of those button knobs and labels. Once you have a control selected, which you can see highlighted in red, go up and click on the Assign tab in the top right. On this tab, you can rename the control by clicking on the box next to the name for the control that you'd find on the controller. So for example, right here it says pad one, double click on this box here and type in pad one. You'll see that it then displays on the controller to the left. If you go ahead and rename one of either the buttons or knobs that go above or below the LCD screen, you'll see that those appear on the buttons and knobs that appear on the controller itself. All of the other control names are really just there to help you remember what they're supposed to be used for or what you're going to be mapping them to. The type menu, which you can find just below, allows you to change the specifics of the control, starting with what type of control that you want to use. If you go ahead and click on it, you can see that there's a wide range of different controls, including note, pitch bend, and poly pressure. For a control type like control change, you'll see that you have some very specific options below. So for example, you can set the MIDI channel number, the control change number, the interaction mode of the button, and the MIDI value. In the case of control change, you want to make sure that when you're editing the type settings, that you give each control its own unique channel and number. This will prevent multiple buttons and knobs from sending the same MIDI messages. When you're working with the controller editor, it's important to understand how pages work. For the pads, there are eight different pages. Now you can go ahead and switch between the pages by either going to the Pages tab and then selecting them from down here, or you can simply click on the drop-down menu above the pads and then select them there. Because the pad pages correspond to the group buttons that you'd find on the controller, you're only allowed to have eight different pad pages. That is not the case for the knobs and buttons that are below and above the LCD screens. You can have as many pages for those knobs and buttons as you like. So if you want, you can go ahead and click the edit button under the knob pages section and then click new. Now you have a new page for the knobs and buttons that appear above and below the LCD screen. When you create a new page for those knobs and buttons, you're going to want to make sure that you go ahead and change the MIDI messages on all of those different commands because by default, they will share the same MIDI commands as pages one and two. As I said before, you can only have eight pages because they correspond to the eight group buttons that are found in the controller. However, you can always go ahead and turn off the pad pages altogether. So to do that, you want to click this power button here to the right of pad pages. By turning off the pad pages, you will limit the pads to only send out one control. The last setting that I want to highlight is the pad velocity curve. You can access the pad velocity curve by going back to the templates tab and then selecting from the drop down menu underneath the template selection. And I'd suggest that you try them out and find which one you like best. To use your new template, all you have to do is plug in your machine controller and it will automatically be updated. Then you can go ahead and map the controls on the machine hardware controller to your favorite MIDI compatible program. If you want to learn more about the Native Instruments Controller Editor and how it works with Native Instruments Machine, visit thedjpodcast.com. Thanks for watching.